Hello, welcome to iOS of channel. M1 Mac brings a lot of improvements on battery life, security, and GPU performance. However, using it sometimes can be painful because it's designed differently from older models. Enabling system extensions is one issue that many users can't figure out. So in, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable system extensions on M1 Mac. Please subscribe to our channel, or if you like this video, please hit that big like button. Thank you very much. Let's get started. System extensions work in the background to extend the functionality of your Mac. When you install some apps that will install Chrome extensions like iMyself and TFS for Mac, um, an alert of system extension blocked or system extension updated will pop up. Then you need to open security preference to enable system extension. If you don't do so, the software installation won't proceed. Um, on a Mac without M1 chip, you just need to click the yellow lock at the corner to unlock, then click the allow button. But on an M1 Mac, you have to uh, use the start up security utility to set up the security policy first. Now, let me show you how to set the security policy in macOS recovery mode on an M1 Mac. First, open up your M1 Mac and keep holding down the power key. Keep holding it and just be patient. Then release it, holding down the power key again. Wait. Release the power key until the startup disks are loading. Then you will be put into this screen. Take a look. Then just select options. Then click continue button. Then wait until the computer put into macOS recovery mode. Then just select the utilities and at the top menu bar, then go to Startup Security Utility. Then you will see this pops up. Then click the Macintosh HD disk, then select Security Policy. Then just change from full security to reduced security. And remember to keep the first box checked to allow user management of Chrome extensions from identified developers. Then click OK. Then Put in your username and password. Click OK. Then you will see this message here, apply security policy. Wait until it's done. It will take a few seconds, just be patient. Don't exit the startup disk utility. Then after it's done, you will be back to the startup security utility window. Then you can just Quit startup disk, then just restart your computer. After the computer restarts, the installation of the software will resume. Then you just open security and privacy preferences from the system preferences. Then click the yellow lock to make changes. Then input your username and password to unlock it. Then click details. Then select eyeball tag. Then click OK. It will ask you to restart your computer again. Just hit the restart button and wait until your computer restarts. After the computer restarts again, you can just go to Launchpad to launch the software. If you want to disable the system extension, you need to boot your computer into macOS recovery mode again and change from reduced security back to forced security. Then just restart your computer. If this video helps you, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I will see you with a lot of more videos very soon.